are you doing here? Better question is, what are you doing here, Monica? Hey guys, in here, and welcome back to another video. We are playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club 1.1 mod. But before we hop into it, last time, you need to check out last episode if you haven't. Things went down. It, basically, this mod is Monica and I teaming up to save everyone's lives against this Monica. So Monica from the previous timeline game coming to this game to help us fix everything. However, last episode, she deleted all of our permissions and we are no longer in control. And there's an MC character file now. And both Yuri... So, Yuri and Sayori are gone. Replaced by Monica, Monik, and MC. So, we got our MC permissions taken away. Our character, our player permissions, and now we are been reduced to a character status, so we cannot interact with the game and help anymore, apparently. And Monica has taken full control of our actions, if so it seems. I don't know, this mod is really well made, really interesting, and I love where it's going so far, so without further ado, let's continue. What are you doing here? What to say? We can't! We actually can't control- Oh my goodness. I have no choices. Hi, Monica. Class just ended, so... What are, you what are you saying? Class ended a long time ago. What? Seriously? I guess I just spaced out hard. We have no control! This is so well done, so creative! We literally... The player character does not have any options. It just spaced out so hard. Sorry. Jayden, are you alright? Can you tell me what day it is today? Isn't it Sunday? Oh. Yeah, that's what I expected. Should I walk you off? I think I can manage. Thanks anyway. Wait. Can I ask you a question, Jaden? I guess so, yeah. Are you Jaden? Huh? Of course I'm me. Why do you ask? Oh, it's nothing. It's kind of complicated, but if you're you, then everything's fine, I guess. You two are... You two are, you two are strange today, Monica. Yeah, I'm sorry. To be honest with you, I had this really strange dream. Is this someone tried to... It's nothing. Are you sure? I can always hear you. You can count on me. Always listen. I, I think that's supposed to be... I, you can always talk to me. Dude, thank you. Anyways, I gotta go home. Now, Suki's probably already mad at me. Alright, I'll stay here a bit more, preparing for tomorrow. Have fun, you two. Where to move? Where to move? Oh, we literally can't control anything. We're just sitting here watching now. The player character has no permissions. Oh my gosh, Monica. I thought we liked you. I thought we were gonna fix everything together, Monica. Hey, long time no see. I'm still here, don't worry. Seems like something has changed. Let me try to restore things. Wait, 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 wait. Are you still good? Is good Monica still good? And this is new game Monica? Who's taken our permissions and is talking to herself? What? 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 This game, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know what Monica's up to or which Monica's which and how Monica's and Monica's is... I don't know anymore. Let's, let me try to restore things. <gasps> Unable to restore. No! Natsuki can't be restored. So last episode, Monica changed Natsuki to an introvert and made her have bad relationships with her parents. And we can't restore it back to how it was. But we can we restore it to MC? Is MC fixed? I don't know. I don't know what... Ah, uh, I can't restore Natsuki. I restored Jaden, though. Keep pressing on. I'm with you. So there's an outside force here. So it, it was was it Dan Salvato then? Because it logged into D Salvato's account when it deleted my permission. So is it the game? Is the game the villain here? Oh man! I reached my home from from where? My head. Oh man! We've got our permissions back at least. That's good. Whew, For now. I don't remember anything I've been doing today. As if I've just woken up. Did I sleepwalk? Most likely just spaced out like I usually do. I try to remember the last thing I was able to do and the festival comes up. 
Oh, I probably just spaced out thinking about what we were going to do for the festival. Shake my head. I didn't accomplish anything. <laughs> when I come inside, I smell baking coming from the kitchen. It smells like muffins. Oh, you're back. Where were you? When I came... Whoa. What? When I came here to start baking sweets for tomorrow, you weren't here. Hold on! What did that say? I'm gonna have to look back at the recording and check that out. That was weird. I thought everything was supposed to be normal and happy. Oh. Yeah, I went out to take a walk, I think. You think? Jane, are you alright? I think I'm a little off today, but it's nothing to worry about. Oh, I think I can't force you to rest, but since you're not gonna be doing much, I guess I'll be resting anyway. By the way, I brought you my entire manga collection. It's in your room. You did what? What did now that you ask, I don't really know why. I just felt the urge to bring it over here. Oh, because now her dad won't let her keep it there. Oh, no! Maybe so you can bring it to the club tomorrow? I hate being called cute. I'm too little and cute to carry that. Oh, my. That's your excuse? That's my excuse. I knew that Suki actually didn't know herself why she'd done that. I wouldn't mind a randomness, but knowing that I had to deal with the thing myself earlier? What is going on? Now, Sugi, can I ask you something serious? D Why? What kind of seriousness are you asking for? Concern type of seriousness. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I guess you can. Okay, then. Are you an Atsuki? I asked a stupid question. One so stupid, so simple, and so easy to understand. Yet one that could so easily throw any kind of concern I have for an Atsuki. Are you blind or something? Of course I'm Natsuki! No, no, not like that. What, are you really the same Natsuki? I guess I can't hide anything from you, can I? I was really hoping for a positive answer here. I've given so much just to hear complaining about my stupidity, just to see that I was being par 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 paranoid. Is that a word? It's like paranoid, but... Really? I don't know. <laughs> or that I didn't even know her as I thought I did. I'm not feeling okay today, or rather, I don't want to go home today. I even rushed out of it as soon as I woke up. I... Natsuki, are you alright? No. For some reason, I really hate my home. I... I fear my father. I fear that he finds out that I came to your house, and... I really am afraid that he finds out that I like manga. I... Oh, no, Natsuki. Please help me. Oh! I embrace her, slowly and lightly. It's a strange moment, but it's the first time I noticed how small she was. It only made me want to protect her even more. You dummy, you can always count on me. Even when you think you're alone, I'm here for you. Jaden? Can I live without you? Huh? Sorry, that's probably... No, don't get me wrong, I was just surprised. But if you ask me for something like that with such a serious tone, I can't say no. Are you sure? I don't have a thing to give you. I'm useless. I don't care what you consider yourself to be. You'll always be Natsuki for me. And I'll always hear you out, help you, and be there for you. I... Jaden, is it okay if we stay like this for a while? I feel really safe. Of course you can, silly. You can always ask me to hug you. I won't complain. In fact, I'm also scared. I feel like I'd disappear at any moment. Being like this with you, I feel like I'm here, and then I won't go. She didn't move, so I guess she doesn't mind. Oh, we stay like this for a while. Oh, some time passed. Sorry about all that. Me too, but I this just shows how much of a friend you are for me, and you for me, I guess. Never thought we'd end up like this. Me neither. But I'm really glad you're there. By the way, no. What? Please don't make me go back there. Natsuki, relax. I won't make you go, really. I just asked. Whew. That was intense. Is there any other... Wow. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have asked you that yet. Anyways, don't worry about me. I took my school uniform and all the money I had at my home. As long as you give me a place to live, I won't start working to get some money to live. Wow. Sleep on the floor. 
No, you're not gonna sleep on the floor, you'll sleep in my bed. I, I, can't, I can't make you sleep somewhere else. And I can't let you sleep on the floor either. But sleep with me. What? I said, sleep with me. Uh, of course, I don't intend anything to happen, but your bed should be big enough for both of us. Well, I, I think so. Well, let's not talk about that anymore until we go to sleep. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we started this mod by sleeping with Sayori and saving her life. Oh, now we're keeping Natsuki at our house so she doesn't have to go home and she's going to sleep with... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't want to go out anytime soon. Uh, so you put the last ones on the table and invited me to eat one of them. I decided to accompany the oddly shaped open to see to read. And last time we gave prisoner of my attention problem once again, ignoring everything in my surroundings. Man, I'm really happy Natsuki's here for me. More way than one, I like her. The only thing I'm ashamed of is the fact that I had to face this bizarre problem in order to realize that. She's something really precious to me. Of course, Monica spent something special for me as well during this week. During this week? I just realized what was off. The problem I've not been realizing. How can I be this stupid? The last thing I remember is the day we three formed the Literature Club. We were cleaning the place. We didn't have much time for the festival. I'm sure it was more than just one day. Did I forget an entire week? I can't sort it out. I'm really oblivious to what the heck happened during this week, and I don't want to worry Natsuki. We missed out on an entire week. What happened? No, what did we miss? Oh my gosh. What? That's why the festival date was moved to Sunday, because she skipped an entire week. What? <sighs> Maybe Monica could help me with this. No, don't talk to Monica about this. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. The rest of the day passed without much more trouble. No, we gotta talk to that Suki! I didn't space out. Am I this awesome after all? And that's done! Good job, Natsuki! My mouth is trying to control my body so I can steal one of those. No! Bad boy! Poison me with a wooden spoon. Besides, I already gave you what I cons didn't consider good enough, didn't I? But, no buts. I had to. I. I had to. Con okay, so. I had to. I don't know how to word that. She was only able to eat the dough, so you have already eaten much more than I have. Speaking of which. Bowl of leftover dough lying near the sink. I'm assuming she hasn't cleaned it yet. I picked some dough. <laughs> Natsuki was two steps ahead of me. Get wrecked. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to bash me. I'm already at her level. Oh. Yeah, you haven't won. It's a draw this time. Ha! We put it on each other's faces. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't put this to waste, you know. Natsuki pits, picks the dough off her face and eats it. Look who's talking. I did the same. I don't get why, but raw dough has its own appeal. Eating too much would be bad for your health. I really want to make, I keep saying that I'm going to do this, I haven't done it yet, I want to make an eggless cookie dough recipe so I can just eat the cookie dough. Because <laughs> that's really the only problem with cookie dough is the egg. So it's already late, I should go, sorry I'm not used to, don't mind it. By the way, would you, would you like to go to the bat, whoa, whoa, oh, okay, she's just going, okay, alright, that's fine. <laughs> Call me if you need anything. Intend to summon in such a common cliche in mangas? It's your wish. I'm already going to sleep with you. I can wait. Gosh, why did it make me feel grossed out? You asked for it. Okay, I Go to the bath. Get out of here. <laughs> Take a muffin and swallow. Oh! Here's some knocking on the front door. Oh, oh this is going to be awkward. Oh, no. I want to check who's knocking at my door. Oh, no. Who is it? Who is it going to be? Is it Monica? It's Natsuki's dad, isn't it? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm searching for a lost kid. I open the door. I face myself with an old man who eyes have looked as if he's had a really bad day. He's searching for a kid, so I must at least answer. I'm not sure I've seen any. What does this kid look like? Man raises his hand to almost Natsuki's size. 
it's about it's about this size has unnatural hair color and is named Natsuki. Oh. He's her father. Oh no. Unable to hide my son's surprise, I try to talk. I well, she shouldn't be here. I mean, I don't know anyone like that. Natsuki's father raises an eyebrow. I clearly knew I'd already been caught. You said something interesting there. How did you know I was talking about a girl? Uh, Natsuki, even when Natsuki is a unisex name. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. You know where my daughter is, don't you? Um, I, I really don't know anyone like that. What a nice pair of shoes you have there. Are those your sisters? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You're lucky I'm an officer and I can't enter your home without permission. I'll come tomorrow with an official Oh no. Doesn't matter what happens, I'll get my daughter back. I'll send some co-workers to seize this home. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, but but as I said, save your lives for someone who actually buys it. Oh no. I spit Oh no. I really wish Natsuki's not there for your own good. Oh no. Oh no. I need to protect Natsuki. Oh no. Protect Natsuki. Ah! Ah! Protect Natsuki. I close my door. I go straight to my room. Oh no. Oh no. Natsuki. You have to tell her. Oh, but, oh, mm, I'm done. No pajamas? You're kind of disappointing me here. Uh, uh, of course I'm not wearing pajamas. You have been using what I brought before. Huh. Should I clean it instead? You can use some of my clothes for the time being. To turn you on? What? How, did, how does that make any sense, Natsuki? This situation is bizarre enough. Let's not make it worse. I heard some noises. It was just a salesman. Don't worry. My mother's kind of gotten addicted to subscriptions and stuff. Where is my mother? Speaking of... I don't care what happens there, but... Please don't lie to me. I know your mom hasn't come here for about a year or so. Oh. Guess I can't hide anything from you either. We cannot even go to the festival anyways. We're home stu Oh, man. Your father. I figured... I don't remember him being specifically hard on other people, but I have a feeling for whatever reason he's been really harsh this last week. What did he say? He said he's going to get permission to investigate this home by tomorrow. And should he find you, he'll take your back and he'll take you back and God knows what will happen to me. I'm really sorry. I think I'm going to go back home. What? No! Don't be stupid. You're being stupid here. You're just dragging yourself into all this stuff without even considering what I feel about it. What if I don't want you to get you involved? What if something happens to you? What if I want to be involved? Because I also feel like there's something happening to you. And knowing I could have done more. I would have lived on knowing I had this chance, but I let it slip by. It's not fair. It's not about fairness. It's about facing a completely crazy guy who has more contacts and influence than you. You're literally asking to get hurt. I cannot allow someone as precious as you to harm himself just for being reckless. Oh boy. Natsuki was right. My father is smart. He has contacts in his job, and by tomorrow, not even my home will be a safe place. Oh boy. Even so, even when everything's going down the street, no break. No, please, I know what's best for you. Even if I don't recall this type of stuff happening before. Oh man, so in this last week, because, yeah. So we've missed out on this entire week of Natsuki's dad snapping because of Monica or game or whatever happened to the game code. Oh my goodness. It's so silent. Oh my goodness. Okay, I know he's dangerous. He's going to kill you. Then he's going to kill me. I don't want you to get killed just because you tried to play the hero here. Oh man. Oh man. Not because she's sad. Oh man. I want to help you, Natsuki. Please, let me help you. I, I can't. Trust me, I want to be helped. But not if it costs this much. We should intervene. Wait a sec, Jaden. There, that should do it. Okay. I gave you partial control of Jaden. Tell you you've got a plan. I think that by tomorrow, 
Yeah, I should have everything sorted. Okay, Monica, I'm trusting you here, Monica. Oh, man, we got this, we got this. I've got a plan. You have to trust me on this, Natsuki. I'll save you by tomorrow. Who are you? Huh? I'm not asking Jaden, I'm asking you. What? 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 How do you, how, why? This whole game is falling apart. Who are you? Why are you talking to me using Jaden's body? How can you tell? I just know you're not him, but you're, you're also him in a way. Are you the one who made this mess? Who turned my life upside down? Answer me! I'm the one trying to avoid that. Then who made all this? I can't tell you that, I'm afraid. Oh boy. You don't you do know who's at fault, do you? In that case, please help me. Help Jaden, please. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Then allow him to help you. I'll have something figured out by tomorrow. Fine. But if something happens to my Jaden, I'll kill you. Okay. Okay. To think that Natsuki could find you out. She's really strong, isn't she? She even remained calm and listened. I'm really sorry for breaking her. I feel we could have gotten much more. I reverted Jaden's control to himself. It's all new, so you have to be extra careful. Find a weak spot in your game modifications. There must be one somewhere. Huh? What just happened? <laughs> Natsuki wipes the tears out of her eyes and looks at me. Are you awake now? Oh, yeah. Did I space out again? Kinda, but well... I hope you don't use that as an excuse after what you've promised. I... I what? <sighs> you said you had a plan and you promised that it won't be dangerous. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, of course I meant it. You'll, you'll see. I don't have a clue what she's talking about. But... If she allows me to protect her, so be it. I'm going to finish up my homework for tomorrow, but I can pretty much tell we're not allowed to exit the house, so I'm going to go to sleep now. I left the bath with the newer water for you, but it might have gotten a little cold. I'll go take it anyway. I don't dislike lukewarm water. I do. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, this game. That was actually not... Oh. Oh. Aww. Aww. Close the door, try not to wake Natsuki up. Yeah, somehow I managed to make just enough sound that she woke up. Dang it! I'm sorry, I fell asleep unintentionally. Don't mind, don't worry. Don't worry, I don't mind. She looks at the wall. C can you... I didn't know what she was... I did know what she was trying to ask. I turned off the light and went to bed, carefully calling to avoid touching Natsuki. Which in itself is something stupid I did without realizing because of what she asked of me. So I laid in bed, Natsuki turned around, and we were facing each other. She quickly buried her face in my chest, not even allowing me more than a glance at her eyes. You're warm and cozy. Hugging you almost makes me forget everything that's happened. I wrap my arms around Natsuki once again. She doesn't react to that. Am I allowed to feel like this? You smell nice, too. <laughs> hey, Jaden? Yes, Natsuki? Is it weird for you to see me like this? I've always been harsh on you, haven't I? I would say harsh, but... I guess it's a little strange to see you being this clingy. I want to confess, I thought at first you were coming near me just because I was a girl. I thought you were kind of disgusting, so at first I really meant all those insults. It's something I've been doing, always doing, instinctively. Not only to you, but to everyone. Most of the time, even when I don't want to do those things, I still do them. That's why I was all alone back then. The fact that I liked manga didn't help at all, to be honest. Most of the time, the people who talked to me were boys, and they always wanted to get along with me just because I was a girl who happened to like manga. It's nice for you to meet people you can talk to, but I don't want to be treated better just because I'm a girl. That's why I kind of hide the fact that I love manga this much, but... This day, I had an urge to read the latest issue because I was waiting for it since last month. You found me and then started talking to me, and... It didn't matter how hard I went on, you just kept coming back for more, that's what I thought. But I soon realized you weren't there for me, you were there because you wanted to talk about manga. After the first two months, I started feeling like I wanted to meet you more often. You allowed me to be myself, and stayed there for me when all this time, and even now when I need someone to talk to the most, the only one here for me is you. Aww, how ironic, isn't it? 
Same one who rejected all those guys because she didn't want to be treated better just because she was a girl. Same one who avoided relationships. That girl is... Now she's found someone different, someone she could be herself with. She selfishly fell in love with that guy. I... Did she just confess? I really don't know how to answer that. He's obviously waiting for an answer, but I'm... I'm not just surprised. I'm speechless. My brain's trying to escape the situation, but my heart already knows the answer. I inhale hard, pushing Natsuki a little, pushing a little bit, Nats, pushing Natsuki a little bit away, and I release all my lungs there in one short sigh. What am I gonna do with you? Why? It's hard to answer what you just asked, but uh, well, I'll try my best. On what? On answering me? There's no need to think, really. You don't need to apologize. I did no, silly. Try my best to live up to your expectations. Jaden. It's probably the same. <gasps> I... I lo... Oh, this is really difficult. You don't need to force yourself, Natsuki. Oh. My recording just stopped working for a second there. She said I love you. Gosh dang it, recording. Are you kidding me? She said I love you. I And then she said I don't have to... Hope I don't have to do this more often. And then we laughed, and it was cute, and I was, this is the happiest I've ever been. Stupid recording, breaking and missing out on the best part. She said, I love you, and you didn't capture it. Stupid, whatever. It's ironic how this has only been possible thanks to the issue from before. Ah. Uh... Suki and I wake up. She woke up early on me, and I found her in the kitchen cooking breakfast. Jack your toast with some toppings? I'm good, thanks. Okay. Ah. Uh... This is the first time I'm eating something that's not a sweet. I'm kind of excited. Toast with fried egg. Oh man, thanks, Natsuki. This is so this is so well done, man. This whole mod it's like it started off just as the same with them with saving them at the end, which is how I thought the whole game the whole mod was gonna be, but this is this is great. This is so well done. There's so much story here. This is a great what if situation. Of the two tastes burst in my mouth. My diet in place was basically mainly it was based mainly on instant stuff. I'm not good at cooking. I always have to be fresh and homemade all the time. This is amazing, thanks. Just fried some eggs and use a toaster. What are you getting so worked up for? When's the last time you had something cooked? Is last year a good answer? Seriously? Last year? I can boil eggs and make some toast without blowing up the kitchen. So that's why, besides all the one minute things, there were toast, bread, and eggs. I'm really concerned about your health now, dude. I think I've got someone now who can easily take care of that. Ah. Well, I sure can, but you should learn to cook by yourself. So from now on, you'll be behind me watching me do everything. No more sitting down on the table and then Tsuki takes care of things. Am I clear? Well, though I don't want to. Oh no. Someone's at the door. And I know who it is. We've got an order to register the entire home. If you don't open this door, we will take it down by force. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I went to the door. May I help you? As I stated yesterday, I'm here to bring my daughter back. Can I see the permit you got? Sure thing. Guess even if he's crazy, he knows how to play safe. He won't allow his name to get dirty at any cost. Oh. I can't understand this paper. Could you explain what it is? Sir, if you do have my daughter in your house, we will add obstruction of justice to your sentence. Now, if I may... Wait! Oh, shoot. Natsuki, please hide. She's gotta, like, hop out a window or something. Oh, come on. Uh... Natsuki! No! <laughs> Why? Why, after you've done all this and gotten me so attached to her? Don't you dare. Oh, no. Not much later, I saw Natsuki and her father coming down the stairs. Oh, no. This crazy guy just stepped on her. This man has kidnapped my daughter and has hidden her in his room. Probably sexually assaulted her, too. I found her like this. We should add... 
Oh, wow, this guy is so messed up. I didn't do anything. Sure, you didn't lie either yesterday, right? Oh, no. Oh, Monica, we have to do something. I couldn't protect Natsuki. I failed. And that's all there is to it. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me, game. That's enough. Monica. It's in my imagination. You release her right now. Now there's someone here. It's Monica. Oh, snap. Monica? What are you doing here? Don't worry anymore, Natsuki. We've got this. And you are? I'm Natsuki's friend, and someone who will prove that you're doing the, what you're doing is prohibited by law. How so? Here, have a look at this. Monica hands a paper to the three cops. As soon as Natsuki's father grabs, grabs it, he releases Natsuki. Oh my, what's the meaning of this? This is impossible. How did you get this? I didn't get anything. You did. After all, you can only get married... You can only get married being underage if you've gotten your father's consent. Isn't that right? Married? Don't tell me. Of course. Congratulations on your engagement, Jane. <laughs> Monica! Ah! What? 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 Excuse me, what? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Seriously, should I have known this was your plan all along? I can't, I can promise this was not my doing at all. I didn't do this. Monica turns to Natsuki's father and continues speaking. Well, I don't think I have to ex explain why storming into your daughter's new home, accusing your son-in-law of committing crimes is a bad thing for you. So I think you should leave right now. I'll kill you all. <sighs> he realized that she had other injuries besides the ones on her face and they were all quite fresh. My goodness, he's on our side! What was that all about? I haven't told you anything, so how do you know where we were? <laughs> well, I'm sure Natsuki knows why, so you should leave it at that. I do have an idea. At any rate, I also think we should leave it here. Also, well, that ends well, right, Monica? Right. Anyway, you've got some honeymoon to sell. <laughs> That was my head. That was harder than I expected it to be. Gosh. You guys had to move to celebrate. Wait, well, that was for real? Seriously? Of course. Have fun. Uh, talk about a nuisance. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? I'm the one having to suffer here. I don't want to have to deal with a dishonest girlfriend for the rest of his life. At least I'm on and honest enough to say what I feel about you. I have yet to hear it from you. What? No way! Uh, you're not going to let me suffer the embarrassment alone. Say it! I refuse. This is unfair! What I'm going to do, though, is end the ceremony at least. Oh my gosh. What are you... There. Oh my gosh, this mod! Wow! I've overdone myself. It's my phone. Oh! To speed things up, we can still make it to the festival. Still wanna go? Yeah, sure. We're engaged! But what we'll do about in the future about. And done. Natsuki's file is safe now. Sure, yeah, we did it. Gosh, that was not how I was expecting things to go. Holy crud. Uh, we did it. Everyone's safe. That's not true. You're not safe, Monica. What is it? What? Monica? I knew you were going to try to save her, too. It's true. You're that kind of person after all. You're that kind of person after all. One that decided to search for a better ending over the net. <laughs> and played the entire game, not only full, but even more. 
future Monica, we are saving this version of Monica, and that's final. I'm saving everyone. Can't be helped, can it? I don't know how much I can help you this time. <laughs> so what's the next step in this game? It's kind of ironic how this is the last stage. Stay safe, I'll be there for you. Oh. And there goes our... Oh! Oh. Well, that's a good place to stop. We're going to end that there right on that cliffhanger because apparently we're going into this version of the game to save Monica. I have no idea what to expect. This mod has completely blown all of my expectations out of the water. I love this. And I'm really excited to play more. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider really like or even consider subscribing to become a minor and join the crew because we are playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club 1.1 mod very soon in the near future because this is fantastic. I love this. This is great. This what if situation, the, the writing, although the grammar isn't perfect, the writing is amazing. The storyline is overall way more than I expected it to be based on Act 1 and 2. The only thing is I wish maybe Sayori and Yuri were expanded upon a little more because Natsuki just got a butt ton of stuff. But uh, this mod is being worked on still, so maybe one day we'll revisit it. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all later. That's not my outro, and then, then I can't say later because I just said that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later! <laughs> oh man, this game.